God bless you. I hope you're having a great day today. Um, it's a great, great joy to be able to come to you, and thank you very much for listening in. This is May 22nd. It's Friday. My name is Father Mike Manning. Um, the theme I want to talk to you about is forgiveness. Now, after we've sinned, there comes a time when we stop making excuses. We stop rationalizing. We honestly admit to ourselves that we've done wrong. We regret the evil we've done. We experience feelings of guilt. <laughs> our, sin, our sin has undeniably affected others, and we're pushed to, to try to right the wrong. We're driven to speak and act, to try to make amends for the evil we have done. But then, there is God. We have learned what God expects of us. <laughs> this came from the teachings of others that have been influenced the loud voice of our conscience. After trying to reconcile with others, we, we strive to reconcile with God. We first ask forgiveness in our hearts. Then we turn to find expression of God's love in the church. We come to the community. We approach the priest in the sacrament of reconciliation. In the experience of acceptance, in the words of absolution, we find peace and forgiveness. In today's Gospel, Jesus presents the story of reconciliation and forgiveness with Peter. D despite his protestations of faithfulness, when the chips were down, Peter denied Jesus three times. I instead of despairing as Judas did, Peter is sorry and longs to be forgiven. Recalling the three times that Peter denied him, Jesus asks him three times, Do you love me? And Peter responds three times, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus asks Peter first to face his sin, then profess loving repentance, and finally, receive forgiveness. Jesus confirms his forgiveness with the deep empowerment of Peter. He is to feed his lambs, to feed his sheep, and then follow him. Dear Lord, give me the courage to face my sins. Help me to ask you for forgiveness. Please, Lord, Embrace me with the security of your forgiving, empowering love. Amen. Thank you so very much for watching the app. God bless you. I hope you've been blessed. Now, please, would you remember, we do need your help. We need your prayers. But we also need your financial support. Um, this is very much dependent on whatever you can do to give it to us. Now. Please get in touch with us. You can send a, an email right here. You can also call us on the telephone. And you can get in touch with our webpage. May Jesus' love for you always make you smile. <laughs>